Need a last minute Easter card idea? I'm going to show you an adorable card using the Oval Collection Framelits dies. Quick like a bunny, I want to show you this adorable last minute Easter card. This card idea came from one of the God Be With Us stampers. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 13 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So to make the card that my customers shared with me, we're going to need our Sizzix Big Shot. I prefer the magnetic platform because we are going to be using the Ovals Collection Framelits. You can use your multi-purpose platform. We have our cutting pad our four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of whisper white cardstock scored and folded at five and a half and now for the largest of the framelits this already has the scallop on there it just fits perfectly now look what I'm doing I'm just coming off the edge of this okay so that's all we're gonna do we're gonna come off the edge so then it won't cut through but leave us a fold And when we take away all of that that's die cut, it's exactly what we have. For the next step, we'll need our Big Shot again and our multi-purpose platform opened up to tab one, a cutting pad, and then on her card, she used the decorative dots embossing folder. This was one of the free celebration gifts, but it will be available in the 2014-2015 Stampin' Up! catalog. So let's open this up and we want to emboss this but just the front so what we're going to do is we're going to line it up till we get to that line right here center that and close it and then feed it through so here we have the base of our card by embossing just the front we now can write on the inside and so we're going to need some more punches the two and three eighths inch scallop circle scalp oval punch the large oval the three quarter inch circle and this circle is from the itty bitty shapes punch pack and a sharpie marker so here's our finished last minute Easter card. Look how adorable he is. So you can see how all those punches came together to form his ears and head and face and a cotton ball for his tail. Before you run off quick like a bunny to make one of these, if you like getting stamping tips, techniques, and or tutorials, hop on over to www.stampingsmiles.com and join my mailing list and I will send you every month in my newsletter stamping tips techniques and tutorials and you'll have a bonus just for joining so hop on over to www.stampingsmiles.com and join my mailing list and this is Shelley Godby wishing you a very happy and blessed Easter thanks for watching